Our patient is a 68-year-old female who presented for evaluation of an indeterminate left lower pole renal mass. Her past medical history was notable for atrial fibrillation, type 2 diabetes mellitus, stage 3 chronic kidney disease, chronic pancreatitis, and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy with diastolic dysfunction. The patient recently underwent a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis for evaluation of known chronic pancreatitis and recent weight loss. An atrophic pancreas as well as multiple pancreatic calcifications were noted. Additionally noted was a hypodense enhancing 3.2 by 1.8 centimeter left kidney lesion worrisome for renal cell carcinoma. An enlarged 1.2 centimeter left paraaortic lymph node was also noted. MRI was recommended to confirm these findings. On post-contrast MRI imaging, an irregular hypoenhancing left lower pole kidney mass could be seen. This was concerning for a hemorrhagic renal cell carcinoma. Again noted was the enlarged left paraaortic lymph node. CT-guided kidney biopsy was recommended for diagnostic purposes. The patient was not considered to be an operative candidate, thus biopsy was necessary to guide further treatment. The pre-biopsy non-contrast CT scan clearly demonstrates the left lower pole renal lesion. CT-guided kidney biopsy was attempted with an anterior approach but was unsuccessful on two occasions as intervening bowel precluded adequate windows for safe biopsy. Ultimately, a posterior approach was successful using a 20-gauge core needle. Five cores were obtained, however, the final pathology was non-diagnostic for renal cell carcinoma. EUS-guided kidney biopsy was then performed. A therapeutic linear array echo endoscope was passed to the posterior gastric body where the left kidney lesion could be easily identified. After confirming the absence of vascular structures, a 25 gauge FNA needle was passed into the nearly 3 cm hypoechoic lesion. Ultimately, three passes were made and capillary technique was used for tissue acquisition. On-site cytologic analysis confirmed adequate cellularity for diagnosis. The obtained specimen was diagnostic for renal cell carcinoma, clear cell subtype. In conclusion, this case adds to the current body of literature suggesting that EUS-guided FNA of kidney masses is technically feasible and safe, is useful in scenarios when traditional diagnostic methods are insufficient, and provides a complementary role to ultrasound or CT-guided biopsy as certain lesions are more accessible by EUS-guided FNA, and vice versa.